George Michael dead, singer dies of heart failure in bed, on Christmas Day, aged just 53. The last Christmas singer passed away peacefully at home in Goring on Thames, Oxfordshire, with police saying there are no suspicious circumstances. Legendary singer, George Michael died peacefully on Christmas Day, aged just 53, his publicist has announced. The police and ambulance service were called to his home in Goring on Thames, Oxfordshire just before 2 p.m. The sad news was broken in a short statement issued at 11 p.m. by Michael Lipman, which said, It is with great sadness that we can confirm our beloved son, brother and friend George passed away peacefully at home over the Christmas period. The family would ask that their privacy be respected at this difficult and emotional time. There will be no further comment at this stage. Mr. Lipman later revealed George was found, in bed, lying peacefully, and that he is understood to have died of heart failure. He told Billboard that the exact time of death is not clear at this time. But there was, no foul play whatsoever. Thames Valley Police said, South Central Ambulance Service attended a property in Goring in Oxfordshire, at 1.42 pm today. Police say they were treating the death as unexplained but there were no suspicious circumstances. A statement said, Thames Valley Police were called to a property in Goring on Thames shortly before 2 p.m. Christmas Day. Sadly, a 53-year-old man was confirmed deceased at the scene. At this stage the death is being treated as unexplained but not suspicious. A post-mortem will be undertaken in due course, there will be no further updates from Thames Valley Police until the post-mortem has taken place. A date for the post-mortem is yet to be scheduled. George rose to fame as part of the 1980s pop group, Wham!, whose hits include Last Christmas, Young Guns, Wake Me Up, Before You Go Go, and Club Tropicana. He sold more than 80 million records worldwide in a career spanning four decades. His 1987 debut solo album, Faith, sold more than 20 million copies worldwide. He achieved seven number one singles in the UK and eight number one hits in the US. He seamlessly managed to transition to a credible singer or songwriter with timeless ballads like Careless Whisper with his debut solo album Faith, which catapulted him to superstardom in 1987. All of the singer's albums have charted either number one or number two in the album charts. George has won three Brit Awards, two Grams, and for Ivor Novello Awards, in his career spanning over three decades. In April 1998, he was arrested for lewd conduct in the men's room of a public park in Beverly Hills. He was fined and ordered to pay community service, and later came out as gay. He said hiding his sexuality made him feel fraudulent and his eventual outing was, a subconsciously deliberate act. He later reenacted the scene in his music video for Outside in 1998. In September of 2008, Michael was arrested in a public lavatory in London's Hampstead Heath area for drug possession. He said, I want to apologize to my fans for screwing up again, and to promise them I'll sort myself out and to say sorry to everybody else, just for boring them. Last month George was reported to have rekindled his friendship with the man he declared the love of his life, Kenny Goss. The couple were together for 13 years before the former Wham stars split from the Texan art dealer in 2009. George nearly died from pneumonia in late 2011. After receiving treatment in a Vienna hospital, he made a tearful appearance outside his London home and said it had been, touch and go, whether he lived. Doctors had performed a tracheotomy to keep his airways open and he was unconscious for some of his spell in hospital. The singer collapsed at his home in May 2014 and was taken to hospital for emergency treatment. His last tweet was in September, but last month a tweet on his Facebook page said, he was busy putting the finishing touches to his special documentary film Freedom. Musician, Nile Rogers, said on Twitter he had visited George just two days ago. Meanwhile, 
Michael's 1990 album, Listen Without Prejudice Volume 1, had been set to be reissued accompanied by a new film featuring Stevie Wonder, Elton John and the supermodels who starred in the video to his hit single Freedom. 90. The movie, with the working title Freedom, George Michael, was to be narrated by Michael and set to feature Mark Ronson, Mary J. Blige, Tony Bennett, Liam Gallagher, James Corden and Ricky Gervais Eyes. The record was his second solo album, after the hugely successful Faith and was arranged produced and almost entirely written by Michael, but did not feature him on the album cover. It featured hits including, Cowboys and Angels, Mother's Pride, and Praying for Time, and outsold Faith in the UK, where it went platinum four times, but led to a court case with US record label, Sony about Michael's frustration over how the album has been marketed. Michael lost the case. Stars from the world of showbiz, have paid tribute to the, truly brilliant, George Michael. Pop stars from the former Wham frontman's heyday, were joined by more contemporary names, in declaring their sadness.